All right, going out. No, I went to my room. How stupid can I be? I don't want to go in the TV tomorrow. Let me out of my room. Didn't actually think that would work. I guess I thought I was stuck up there. All right. Not sure who I should pull a fortune for. I and um, Naoki are both ready to level up. I guess I will pull a fortune for an Ares ready to level up too. I guess I'll pull a Kanji fortune. Or a Hisano fortune. I'll pull a Hisano fortune. There we go. Okay, that one's ready to go, too, next time I find her. You overhear students talking. I saw it on the Midnight Channel. Countless black creatures crawl out of the fog and infest the town. The town gets overrun by them, and the people who inhaled the fog turned into them, too. And the last person that appeared looked just like me. What should I do? I don't feel good. People turning into monsters? That sounds awesome! It's like some kind of anime! I wonder how it feels to turn into a monster! How it feels? Well, I guess if everyone turned into monsters, that'd be okay. If everyone's becoming a creature, why should I worry about becoming one too? <laughs> then it'll be just like we're evolving into another species. It's a dumb way of looking at that. Alright. First, check the practice building. No kanji. Next, check the first floor. There's I. Alright, we'll hang out with I. Yasogami High Rooftop, on top of the water tower. You followed I up here. Fog has enveloped the area. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep making you hang out with me. I don't mind. Thank you. You really are a nice guy. After I calmed down, I gave my life some serious thought. Why do I go on such crazy shopping sprees? Why do I feel the need to be so well-dressed all the time? What makes me want to go ditch class? Do I want to stand out so that I'll catch people's eyes? And why do I always find myself wanting to talk to you? I thought that if I couldn't be pretty, I'd be better off dead. Nobody likes people who aren't pretty. They hate you. What's the point of life if everyone hates you? Lately, I've been thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. There's still a lot I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be jumping to any conclusions. Before I realized it, I was crying. I've always made sure not to cry, too, because it makes my eyes swell. I pulled back my curtains, and the sun was coming up. The stars were shining so dimly. And for some reason, it made me think of you. I wonder why. Uh, because we're friends. I have a lot of male acquaintances. But you're probably the first one I can call a real friend. I smiles happily. You're a weird guy, you. I'm glad we met. You feel genuine trust coming from I. Rank 7. Let's go home, huh? <laughs> if they catch you with me, you'll probably get all the extra lectures, too. Let's split here. You parted with I and went home. You can work as a janitor. I don't want to.
Uh, all right, let's go pull a fortune. I'm gonna pull it for I because I just ranked that up and we might need it. Oh, wow, we're ready to rank that up again. Okay. All right, I need to go into the TV no later than December 22nd. So that's the date we'll go in. So I've got a couple days. Oh, morning, senpai. So this is going to be the final battle. Finally, huh? I've been thinking about when I made the decision to come here. <laughs> I came here thinking that I could find myself in the peace and quiet of a little country town. But, I have no regrets. I'm glad I met you. Me too. We can't lose to that Adachi. Let's beat him and bring him to justice. I'll do my best to help you until the very end. Let's win and give Nanako-chan something to smile about. Side later. Kanji's available, I'll hang out with him, otherwise I is an option. The classroom is in an uproar. Did you already buy a gas mask? How much was it? I don't know. My parents bought it for me. Whatever. I'm safe now. Check it out. I heard if you catch colds easily, then you've got a higher chance of getting sick from the fog. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm totally like that. Shut up! No talking! You're still in class! This city is known to get covered in fog every 50 years. Don't worry about it! That's what the TV said anyway. Let's get down to business, can we? Alright, to the practice building. No kanji. To the first floor! There's I. All right, let's hang out with I. No, don't leave school. Hang out with I. Yes, a gummy high rooftop. You followed I here. Fog has enveloped the area. I have some news for you. The other day I bumped into him and we talked for a while. Oh, you know, Kukun? But nothing happened. My heart didn't race. He was just a normal, good guy. I guess what I felt was kind of a fleeting thing. That happens all the time. You mean, like falling in love with the idea of being in love? <laughs> I never thought that would happen to me. I guess I was wearing my heart on my sleeve, huh? I shrugs. I was lying to myself. Whenever there's been two ways I could go, I always did what the ideal girl would do. I forgot about the real me. The real me likes bulldogs more than German shepherds. I'm better at long distance running than sprints. I prefer milk over tea, and I like daifuku more than cream puffs. I don't know how to hook up a TV. I think aromatherapy smells bad, and any purse that'll carry stuff is fine. But I hid that part of me away and just pretended it wasn't there. No wonder I didn't think anyone would like me. Of course I didn't have any redeeming qualities. That wasn't me. That's why, right now, I feel pretty good. I smiles cheerfully. You feel you are able to support I in her time of need. Rank 8. The Eye of the Hara social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the moon arcana has grown. Wow, it's already getting dark. I guess it's true. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Bye bye you. I'll see you later. See you again. All right. Oh, I didn't really go didn't really mean to go to the shrine first. I wanted to check and see if I was standing out here in the 
street. Uh, if she is, then I'll just uh, talk to her and potentially get more points that way. If not, I'll go pull a fortune for her. She is not here, so back to the shrine. All right, draw a fortune. Okay, wow, this one's gonna level up again? You overhear students talking. This fog is so thick. I guess the club won't be able to meet today either. Before, I used to think that school without clubs was worthless, but I'm getting used to life without any clubs. I'm actually kind of relieved. It's one less thing for me to worry about. Please don't leave, Fog. Stick around for a while. I totally agree with you, Senpai. The fog is so thick I don't have to worry about how people react to what I say. If I can't see them, I can just assume their reaction was whatever I wanted, so I can say anything I want. Yeah, you're right. If you don't see other people, you kind of stop caring about them, right? Same goes for me. I used to worry about others so much before, but now psh, I just look out for number one. I've never felt this way before, but it's not bad at all. That's not good. This fog is having some unintended or unexpected side effects. I've been a bit depressed because I can't see the winter sky, but a froggy sky isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Besides, sometimes it's nice when visibility is horrible. You don't have to make eye contact with anyone. You know, I think I'm starting to like foggy weather. Oh yeah, we should get on with the lecture. We'll work on proverbs today. Sato-chan. Do you know the intent behind the phrase, compassion is not for the good of others? What? I wasn't listening. You can help. Um, compassion is for helping others. Oh, really? Wow. Hey, Narukami-chan, perhaps you think you're showing compassion by telling her the answer, but it doesn't help if you're wrong, too. The correct answer is that compassion is for the benefit of the one giving it. So what does that mean? Why does compassion benefit yourself? It's because when you show compassion to others, they will show compassion to you in turn, so you should be kind to everyone. People often think that compassion is a weakness or a crutch, but that's not true. I guess he knew I was asking you. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Alright, let's check the practice building. Is kanji really only available one day a week? That's going to be frustrating. No I. Let's check the riverbank. Okay. Um... I don't think I can work at the uh, daycare center, but I'll try. Otherwise, I'll see if Naoki's around. It's the problem with getting to the end of the social links is you're uh, kind of stuck with very few options. Let's go talk to Eri. You helped out at the daycare center. Yuta is playing Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Here I go! Feather Eternal Drill! Oh, you can't be that legendary. Ha ha! There's nothing my drill can't destroy! Yuta looks like he's fun, having fun playing Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. No one came for Yuta, so you decided to walk him partway home. Spilled the beans, didn't you, mister? You told her I liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, huh? I might have. I knew it. You got a big mouth for a guy. She bought me a robot and a DVD. So, uh, what do you think would make her happy? In return for her gift. Uh, anything would. You grown-ups always dodge my questions like that. 
Is Mother's Day already over? Oh, a four-leaf clover. She said she likes them. She said they bring happiness. All right, I'm gonna find a bunch of them by next Mother's Day. Then she'll have a bunch of happiness. Oh, I'm sorry for being late. Yukun, what were you talking with Mr. Yu about? Uh, nothing. You don't have to come pick me up. I can go home myself. <laughs> I guess it's not that easy to fix everything. I wonder if he's afraid of me. <laughs> you're both afraid. Maybe so. Both of us. So you're saying I'm scared as well, huh? Ari is smiling, Riley. Whenever I speak to him, he hides or leaves. He's always running away from me. I must hate the fact that I'm here. Well, that's not true. Do you think so? Then maybe I'll hang in there a little longer. Harry displayed a relieved smile. Thanks. I feel a bit better. <laughs> I really can't talk about this to anyone else. Thank you for always listening to my problems. Harry seems to trust you. to rank seven. Then I'll see you again. Can I catch up to him from here? <laughs> I'll think of it as a workout. You're gonna run in heels? After a child? You finished your job and went home. Okay. Pull an airy fortune. Get that one ready to rank up again. All right. Man, we're having a lot of luck with the fortunes this week. Okay, we'll see who's hanging around the shopping district, I guess. Um, let's see if Hisano is at the riverbank. I guess I gotta go talk to Daidara again. We'll be back. Oh, you know what? While I'm at Daidara, I'm gonna buy some equipment for Naoto since I'm gonna put her in the party next time. Uh, so I'll do that and then I will ask him about the letter and we can pick up from there. Okay, now we'll talk to him. Hm, you came at a good time. Do you remember those letters I gave you before? Well, I found more of them. If you want these two, you're more than welcome to them. All right, more Hisano letters. Now let's go talk to Hisano. All right, should not be hard to get there. Let's just go to the riverbank. Samagawa floodplain. Hisano, talk to me. Those are the letters I sent to my husband. You told her that you had found these at Daidara as well. Is that so? So he'd been keeping my letters in the storehouse as well. <laughs> <laughs> we thought alike. I need to throw these away as well. But first, can you let me read them? Hisano began reading a letter. We compared our hair. Now it reaches my shoulders. If not you, then who will tie it up for me when it becomes necessary? The path you left on has long been buried by fallen leaves. Will I be able to meet you again when the cherry blossoms bloom and the cicadas buzz? Each day grows brighter. I can feel you coming closer step by step. I wrote this decades ago. 
but who knew that I would become death? Hisano began reading the next letter. That poem you sent me from the was from the Ise, wasn't it? It's fitting, as I'm waiting here for you. But I wish I could just spring away from here and run to your arms. It would be an adventure to search for the cowrie of the swallows in order to win your heart. If I could transform my heart into the wind and make it rush to your side, would you take it into your hand? I, I loved, loved him this much. And because I loved him, it saddened me that he forgot my love. I was miserable and jealous. I was a fool. I was left behind because I was such a fool. He was all that I had, and now he's gone. I must accept that. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, but can I do it? Hisano smiles through her tears. You feel you've touched Hisano's heart. And we've made it to rank eight. We are really closing in on the end of a lot of these. Thank you. <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'd like to see you again. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. Let's pull a Hisano fortune and see if we can get that boosted up so we can level that one up. All right, um, people from outside school, somebody else, Hisano. All right, let's keep on rolling. Yo! Morning, Yukun. Today's already the 19th. The year is almost over. It feels like it's been so long, but so short at the same time, you know? You know, the way people in town have been acting lately is no joke anymore. But we've come so far. We've discovered the real killer ourselves. All that's left is the final showdown. We gotta get that bastard Adachi, no matter what. I have a feeling the town will go back to normal when we do. Let's make sure we win this. I'm counting on you, leader. I'll be counting on you, too. Gotcha. You can count on me to do anything. If you and everyone else are with me, I'm unstoppable. The classroom is in an uproar. Hey, did you hear about the student rep from the class next to ours? Really? Why would a student rep do that? Either way, it's crazy. For real. Ahem. The student rep in question is just ill from the fog. You shouldn't make assumptions without evidence. Not to mention, fog-induced fog illness is painful, you know that? I'm certain a student rep is ill from the fog. The other teachers told me. The uproar only grows louder. Okay. Once again, we check for Kanji Link. And we go back to the first floor. We're making a loop out of this now. Uh, then we go into town to go hang out with Aerie. And we continue the grand loop. helped out at the daycare center. Stop it! Don't hit Misaki-chan! That's not Misaki! That's Phoenix Ranger Featherman R's enemy in disguise! Then I quit playing Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Looks like Yuta is protecting a girl. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. You decided to escort Eri and Yuta part of the way home. Oh, 
Minami-san, you're with Yutakun. I'm gonna go play by the river. Oh, hello. Nakamura-sensei. Oh, I, I apologize for the trouble Yuta caused at school. The woman seems to be a teacher at Yuta's school. Yuta-kun really is rampunctious. You can tell how he was raised. Oh, who is this? He seems a bit young to be your husband. I'm Yunarakami. Oh, I see. So, how do you know each other? You aren't... Huh? He's a caretaker at the daycare center where Yuta stays. Even so, he is quite young. I guess people from the city are different from us country people. I guess it can't be helped that Yuta-kun has turned out this way. Why are you being like this? It's so burdensome to make extra lesson copies for him. I have to use my private time for that, you know. Well, I suppose it's all part of my job. I... I'm sorry. If it was just his grades, that would be one thing. But then there's his slight violent streak, too. It's easy to laugh it off now, but eventually it'll turn into bullying. Which leads into delinquency, which in turn leads one day into crime. This is a terrible teacher. Well, I must be on my way. I'm sorry to have bothered you. All the other mothers of children in Yuta's class respect Mrs. Nakamura, or Ms. Nakamura, as a good teacher. They all gossip about me because I'm a second wife and an outsider. You know how Yuta is, right? So it's impossible for me to make any friends here. <sighs> if only he was a more studious child. <laughs> it's not his fault. Then what? It's all my fault? I'm doing my best, and yet... I'm fed up. I'm just sick of it all. Why does this always happen to me? Eri started crying. Hey, don't bully Mom! Yuta punched you as hard as he could. <laughs> Knocked me flat on my ass, too. Uh, are you alright? <laughs> I just had something in my eye, Yuta. Mr. Yu wasn't bullying me. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, but thank you. <laughs> I guess I'm happy. Aerie is smiling through her tears. You feel your bond with Aerie has tightened. Rank 8. I'll see. Let's go home, Yuta. You finished your job and went home, completely unfazed by any punches you may have been hit with. All right, to the shrine. Alright, we're gonna have to keep pulling airy fortunes for a little bit, but that's alright. Alright, we've basically got today and tomorrow, and then I gotta go into the TV. You overhear students talking. Ugh, my head hurts. Is this from the fog, or is it because of the TV? Oh, what's the matter, senpai? You look gloomier than usual. I heard from my classmate that you studied all night again. Well, everyone else is studying too. I can't slack off. Plus, the teacher said if I can solve all the problems in the study guide, the entrance exam should be easy. Oh, come on, senpai. The world is ending soon. I can't believe you haven't heard about it yet. Everyone else is talking about it. The entrance exam is useless. Anyway, my head's seriously killing me. I wonder if it's from the fog. Well, if it is, that fog's not going away, so neither will my headache. You are way too calm about this. Alright, let's do our loop. The, the social link patrol. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to hang out with Naoki, because I know you can't go to uh, 
the daycare center on uh, days where on Tuesdays. It's only Wednesdays through uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, I think. So I guess we're gonna drove. Hope oh, Nauki is there, or else I'm out of luck. Oh, good, he is. Hi. Chinese diner Aya. You remember how I talked about quitting school? I told my parents my plan. They were really against it. They told me, that's not what we want. Live the way you want to. Then they asked, you hate school, don't you? You're just running away from it. They got all suspicious of me suddenly. I wasn't expecting that at all. And I wouldn't have either. <sighs> I was just stunned. I couldn't even think of anything to say to them. If I wanted to run, I could do that forever. Since everybody's being so kind to me. Not just the health association, the class chores, club activities. Everyone says I can just do whatever. Even the teachers just allow me to take tests home if I show up late. If I leave early, I don't get penalized. None of my actions have consequences. I can't tell if I'm right or wrong since everyone reacts the same way. No one gives me orders, they just tell me to take it easy. Then they all take responsibility away from me. Eventually, it doesn't even matter if I'm there. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to exist. Am I really that pitiable? You're not the only one. Yeah. I know. Naoki is biting his lip. What should I do? Should I just keep going around and telling people not to treat me special like I've been doing? Should I act like Sis never existed? Being stared at, being pitied, being alienated by my friends? Should I just pretend not to notice? Until everyone gets tired of it? When they do get tired of it, won't I be alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. I really don't know what I'm saying right now. You can feel that Naoki is trying to open his heart to you. Rank 6. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not a good subject to talk about while eating. Lately, I don't even taste my food. I'll see you again. You went home after eating with Naoki. Right. To the shrine! This is a very useful tool for the late game rounding out of your social links. Let's get a fortune. And then we'll go into the final day before we go into the TV. Why can he not have a name? Why is he just Saki Konishi's brother in the menus? I didn't actually... I meant to draw an airy fortune. I just got so used to doing whichever one I had just spent time with. Huh, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yo! You! Morning! I was wondering why it hasn't been getting lighter, and then I realized the winter solstice is tomorrow. The longest night of the year. But after that, it'll only get lighter. Everyone's been acting weirder and weirder. Even the school seems funky. But if what Adachi said is true, then we'll be saving the whole town when we beat him. There's not much time left until the end of the year. Let's finish this. Yeah. An entire year. I'm glad you were our leader. I'm counting on you to lead us to the very end. Let's do it. Alright, who wants to hang out? Now he wants to hang out? Okay. And I wants to hang out. Uh, I'm gonna decide after I see if Kanji is available because Kanji is actually a social link, <laughs> or not a social link, a party member. They're all social links. I need to go eat dinner. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk about the end of the world lately. While I don't want to min minimize its magnitude, a catastrophe like that has never happened in human history. 
don't you think it'd be a wonderful experience to be there when it happens? Of course, if the world ends, you must consider the fact that we're all going to die. When I make that journey into the world of the afterlife, I would like to sleep beautifully like the Egyptian royals. I wouldn't say I'd be as beautiful as Cleopatra, but I have to make myself somewhat presentable. Now that the river of conversation has flowed to Cleopatra, I'm going to ask you a question. There were many queens in ancient Egypt named Cleopatra, yet which Cleopatra is the one who is known as one of the three most beautiful women in the world? Let's hear from you, Mr. Hanamura. You seem like you know a thing or two about beautiful women. Wait, what? I didn't even know there was more than one Cleopatra. Will you tell me if you know the answer? Uh... The fifth. How could you get this wrong, Mr. Hanamura? Oops. It was Cleopatra the seventh who was counted among the ranks of the world's great beauties. However, since the other Cleopatras were also royal queens, I'm sure they were each beautiful in their own ways. I am disappointed you weren't as knowledgeable about beautiful women as you appear to be. Okay, my bad. I'm getting worse at this as the year goes on. Okay. Practice building. Kanji time! Let's go hang out with Kanji. Yeah! The hill overlooking town. Fog has enveloped the area. It seems Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. No complaining, okay? Kanji handed the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Whoa! This is incredible! Where did you buy it? Huh? Uh, who cares? But I want one, too. Uh, well, uh, I got one for you. Kanji handed the boy another bunny. It's complete with clothes, shoes, cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. For me? Thanks! But where did you buy it? Uh... Just tell him the truth. Uh... uh I made it. You made this? You got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it... Wow, you're so cool. Hey, can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Huh? Uh, sure. You promised. I'm gonna go give this to Sana-chan. Thanks, mister. I'm not that old, damn it. <laughs> he said I'm cool. It was pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, but it's not like sewing's good for anything. Kanji seems embarrassed. But you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks, huh? Ah, uh, it was nothing. Kanji, with his embarrassed smile, looks more mature than usual. You feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Rank 5. Kanji can now cure severe ailments. All right. This is a great place, huh? The wind's different up here. Never noticed before. Later. You talked with Kanji for a while and started back home. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Don't care. I'm gonna save the game because tomorrow we're going in. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Are you gonna be busy tomorrow? Even if you are, free up some time so we can go inside the TV. Alright, well, we're gonna go in anyway. And I realized I'm not where I mean to be. And I meant to go to the shrine. All right, let's get a kanji one, and then we'll start pulling airy fortunes again. Cool.
you overhear students talking. Ah, oh, what a wonderful day. Once again, I can't see your face. You know, this fog is really liberating. I can't even imagine how I used to live before the fog came. Back then I had to be cautious of what I said to others, but not anymore. Oh, wait, that was the girl talking? <laughs> what, did you say something? Oh, come on. Don't make me waste my breath. Does your head still hurt? Anyway, don't worry about it. The fog is still covering everything. Another day of this glorious weather. Oh, yeah. I heard on the TV that the world was about to end. I wonder what will destroy the world. I'm getting so excited. I can't wait until it happens. This fog is messing with people in very creepy ways. The classroom is in an uproar. I've been thinking about... Or I've been thinking that I don't have to worry about anything as long as I do what everyone else is doing. Yeah, I'm the same way. The TV will tell us what to do. Yeah, I hardly even care about the fog anymore either. By the way, have you heard the rumor about the grilled steak they sell at the shopping district? Really? That's not what I heard. I heard the lady at Suzai Daigaku is... Everyone, please quiet down, right? Huh? What did you just say? Can you give me any details? The uproar only grows louder. All right. It's time. Let's go into town and go to Juness. We're going in. Everyone's here, right? All right, let's go in. All right, time to get fired up. All right, let's go get a dachi baby. Ready, Sensei? I'll be giving you the directions today. All right, Teddy, lead us to him. All right, let's catch a dachi baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> I made these the right way this time. Teddy rummaged around before producing something. Ta-da! Brand new gag glasses. Per Yuki-chan's request, they have lenses in them. Obtained gag winter outfit and gag summer outfit. Oh, really? Thanks, Teddy. Hey, Chie, let's put these on. Oh, this again? We did it before. There's no need to do it again. Come on, Teddy. Don't get all excited just because Yukiko's a goof. Uh, guys, can we go find Adachi? <laughs> you are too kind. Okay, let me show you the way. All right. Let's get our party together. Where is Naoto? Here we go. Naoto, you're joining this time. Kanji. And Yukiko. And we're going in. I'm going to have to grind a little bit to get Naoto up to speed, but... We'll get her caught up. You hear voices from somewhere. <laughs> I told you to come after me and you actually came? Don't you guys have anything better to do? What a bunch of losers. Let's find the culprit ourselves. Let's meet up at the special headquarters today. Am I right or am I right? Man, it's embarrassing. How old are you guys? Ha 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 Ah crap, my stomach's hurting. Come on. You're all students, right? Shouldn't you be studying instead of wasting your time with this? Study hard, get into a good college, work at a respectable company, marry a cute girl. Why are you guys so desperate when it comes to something so useless? Won't you regret it once you're adults? What's up with this guy? Out of all the things we've dealt with in this world, he pisses me off the most. We're not letting him get away. That's for sure. Let's go. Hmm? Huh? Oh, where were we? Sorry, give me a sec. <gasps> Senpai, I can't find any exits. Oh no, what should we do? See, I told you, students should go home and study. Why can't you listen to me? You'll never become well-behaved members of society if you keep this up. Ah well, have fun in there. Great. No exits. Yeah, 
It's sealed by some strong force. That has to be a way to open this somewhere. Let's look for it, Senpai. Okay, let's try and find the way through. There's a hole in the ground. Jump in? Ah, sure. At least it's a way off the floor. Uh, this place. Ah, oh, so you were able to escape. Not bad. Not bad. You guys are better than you look. This place seems different from where we were before. It feels like Adachi has complete control over the area, just like that door we couldn't open. I have a feeling this won't go that easily. Be careful, Senpai. Magatsu Mandala. World 1. That sounds very familiar to some stuff from Persona 2. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Play down and die already. Here goes, Kanji -kun. Yeah, oh, hey. Follow-up attack. This is it. <laughs> That's awesome. 